How's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips and in this video today we are going to be talking about how to organize and rename your media files on Linux with FileBot. So to start off you're going to need to install FileBot. Now there are many ways to install it. Uh, in the article that I talk about in the description below you can install it by downloading a Debian package. You can also install it through the Snap Store and they have it in the AUR. I'm going to show you the Snap version I have the AUR version installed on my Arch machine, but uh, let's show you guys. sudo snap install flat pack, or sorry, <laughs> sudo snap install filebot. Not sure how I got those confused, but once you install that, it'll download it and set it up, and then you can use it. This is honestly, in my opinion, the best way to use filebot, even if you're using Ubuntu and you could get the Debian package, just because snap works on most everything, and also, in my experience, using it on Ubuntu is that if you use FileBot and you also use like a Debian package installer, it can sometimes overtake it and that's kind of annoying. But now that we've got FileBot installed, we can open the program up and uh, launch it. And now from here, you need to look forward to the original files pane and click load item. Now we're going to be using this show here. So I recently got this on my computer. I put it in my media library and we'll go to my media library here. I've got a lot of media. I've got uh, a bunch of TV shows and I use FileBot to rename everything. Just It's just easier that way. So the way this works is you load it up the original files, then you go over here and click match and we're in TV mode because this is a television show and it will load every episode. Then you can just do match with the television database and let it go and match it. And then you can click the rename button. Now before we click the rename button you need to understand that you need to have a you need to have a uh, a license to use FileBot. It does do things for free, but it's not as good. So if you want to get the most out of it, it costs like six dollars for a whole year, and you get your media renaming capabilities. But just click the rename button, and then sometimes you may need to be uh, you need to change the illegal characters, and you just click the validate button. It'll remove it. Then you click continue, and it will rename. Now we can go to our downloads folder where we have this and we can see all of the files are now renamed and we can then put it on our media center. It also works with movies. So if I were to add a movie, which I'll have to copy over really quick, go, let's copy this movie here. And uh, that'll copy, once it's done copying, I can show you exactly how that works with the movies. It's about, it's honestly about the same like, if you have a television show, it's going to rename a bunch of files at once. And if you have a movie, you can also, if you want to rename multiple movies, you can add it at the same time and have it go through and rename everything. But generally, FileBot works good with, with both. So once you load it up, you go to the original files pane like before, go to the folder where it's at, find the file, add the file. Then you can just click the movie database for movie mode and let it match. And uh, you may need to go through and select the movie if it's different ones. And then you can click the rename button. And as you see, it happened in real time. It renames the file. And it's that easy. So please check out my link. You can learn how to install FileBot in the article that I wrote below. And this is how to use FileBot, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a great app, especially if you have a media center that runs Linux. Or even if you, you know, if you're not a Linux user, FileBot works on multiple platforms. Anyways, though, I got to get going. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.